I got this at the same garage show where I got all those comics at, and she gave it to me for free. Uh, everything was just marked free in that whole section, so. It's Monday morning and I have about 20 eBay orders to ship out, but before I do, I wanna let you guys know that my antique mall reopens this Friday, June 12th. They took a little bit longer to reopen. They wanted to make sure they were doing it as safely as possible. They put a lot of protocols in place to make shopping a safe experience for everybody. They're also gonna have limited hours. It's only gonna be 10 to six, seven days a week and I went ahead and rented a second booth. It's only like four booths down from the one I currently have. I have got tons and tons of stuff that I've been sitting on waiting to put in there. So I'm gonna be spending a lot of time over there Friday restocking it and I'll shoot some video and show you guys what I'm putting in there. If you wanna check out the antique booth, I'll put the address down in the description as well as my antique booth locations inside. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, first thing's down here in F6 is some comic books and I think I sold Quite a few out of here actually i decided to do lots of these i picked a bunch up at a garage sale last weekend for 15 bucks uh the first lot is event leviathan i'm probably mispronouncing that it's these right here it is the complete set one through six these sold for 9.99 plus shipping and these are going out to viewer named peter peter thank you for the business man i really appreciate it okay next thing are these retroactive comics uh there are seven of these they're kind of like flashback you know reprodu reproductions of like ones from the 70s 80s like that type of thing uh these sold for 19.99 plus shipping that same buyer bought some comics here in f5 it is the flash here they are these are 23 flash comics these sold for 24.99 plus shipping those are going to a repeat buyer who goes by jj sports cards on youtube so thank you so much for your continued support man i hope you like those comics all right i sold at least one more thing out of here i sold this dc comics encyclopedia i picked this up at that garage sale i was planning on giving it to my nephew but i guess he's not really into comics anymore so i went ahead and sold it sold for 9.99 plus shipping one more thing we're pulling out of F5 is this Sony Bio laptop. Got this at a garage sale probably three weeks ago. I paid five bucks for it. It was missing the battery, but besides that, it works fine. I mean, it can just run on the power. It sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing's over here in D4. These are wireless LED lights. These sold for $11.99 plus shipping. If you were named Angel Butthos, she says, Hey John, big fan, fellow thrifter, subscriber, and eBay seller. Keep up the good work. Greetings from New York City. Angel, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. All right, next sale is a big one. It's five phones. First is right here at F3. This is also a yelling phone, similar to the other ones I sold, but this is the T46S. It's a little bit bigger, and it's got this expansion um, EXP40. And that same buyer bought four of the t42s which are right in here all five phones sold for 239.95 plus shipping all right, next thing is over here in f3 this is a pen and pencil set got this at a garage sale for a dollar sold for 9.99 plus shipping sold some more light bulbs i am into these for two dollars they sold for 13.99 plus shipping all right next is in c1 these are some spark plugs I picked up retail arbitrage for about a quarter, 50 cents a piece. The pair sold for $9.99, free shipping. Okay, next is a die-cast car up here in A7. This is Dale Earnhardt Sr. Got a couple dollars into this. It sold for $9.99, plus shipping. Next is in B1. It is a license plate. I've got a ton of these. I've probably got, I don't know, maybe a nickel into each one. It was part of a bulk buy. This sold for $8.99, free shipping. All right, next we're pulling some pogs. I sold two lots of two. There's two of them. Three and four. Uh, these two lots each sold for $11.99 free shipping. And all of these are going to viewers Kevin, Hans, and Beth. Thank you all so much for your support. It really means a lot. Sold a couple bumper stickers right back here. These two right here, each one sold for $9.99 free shipping. And this one is going out to a viewer named Daniel. Daniel, thank you for your business. I really appreciate it. I sold a Barry Sanders pint glass right in here. Got quite a few of these in a bulk buy. I've got like a quarter into it. It sold for $7.99 plus shipping. All right, I sold a couple things out of my storage unit. So we're going to take a short walk over there and grab them. So 
thing's kind of a mess right now. I've been hoarding up a bunch of stuff to take to the antique booth, so I'm going to get it all out of here on Friday and clean it up a little bit, but I'm going to do my best to pull these orders. First is down an H6. That might be a little bit tricky to get to. It's this North Pole Series Barbershop, uh, Department 56 figure. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. All right, next is up here in this box. This is a Frog Togs uh, jacket and pants set. I got these retail arbitrage, I don't know, maybe like nine months ago. I've sold a couple of them, but they just really aren't good sellers. Uh, so I just kind of marked them down to get rid of them. Sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And the last thing we're pulling in G2. This is a Nashville, Tennessee Music City Ashtray. And it's really clean too. My wife actually got this at a garage sale for a dollar. Had it listed for a while, I think for like either 15 or 20 or best offer. Somebody sent me an offer of $11 plus shipping and I accepted. I didn't catch it at the time, but the Department 56 figure is going to a viewer named Brian. Brian, thank you so much for your support, man. It really means a lot. Got a few questions I want to answer. First is from Jason D. CP, over your time of sourcing, how many garage state auctions have you been to? Thousands? I've been garage sailing for 16 years and just to do like some loose math, I'd say in a weekend, I might average 50 garage sales that I'd probably hit. And then times that by four is like 200 a month. There's probably five good months out of the year to garage sales. So that's like a thousand a year. So I don't know, 16,000 garage sales over the years, which is just crazy. But I still love going to them. They're a lot of fun. Next is from Anthony Kilmer. Hey, Cincinnati Picker, I have a question. What's the difference between straight baseball bats and the ones that aren't straight? Are the ones that aren't straight worth more than the ones that are straight? Keep up the good work. Love the videos. I really hope you can tell me the difference. Good luck on the garage shows. All right, when you're saying straight, I think you're talking about the barrel. So this barrel of the bat is even all the way down and it doesn't get bigger at the end. This is a slow pitch softball bat. Slow pitches are usually like longer, like 34 inches is pretty much the standard size for a slow pitch bat. And this right here is a fast pitch. This one's a little bit shorter, 33 inches, and all softball bats will have a long straight barrel like this. They don't have big barrels. Some baseball bats have straight barrels like this, but some have that big barrel that you were talking about. Um, value really doesn't come down to like barrel size or anything like that. That really doesn't say much about how much it's worth. I did make a video, I think it's been like two years now, where I just did a deep dive into baseball bats, what you need to look for, what's worth money. So I will put a link down below in the description of this video if you guys wanna check that out. Okay, next is from Cesar Bautista. Hi John, love the videos. Question, the unopened Coca-Cola glasses box, do you open it to make sure there isn't any broken glass prior to listing? Okay, so Caesar's talking about these glasses right here. I just picked them up at a garage sale last weekend. I paid five bucks for them. I think kind of what he's getting at is like, is it better to leave them sealed and sell them as like new sealed or do you want to open up and make sure they're not damaged? In a case like this where I can't see what's inside and I mean, I, I don't know for certain that the people didn't just put this tape on themselves, I'm going to open it up. Now, if this was like a sealed Game Boy game, video game, something like that, and you could tell it still had the uh, Nintendo seal of plastic on it, I would leave it. I found a Pokemon game new in the plastic and out of state sale. I'm gonna say it's been a year and a half or so. I paid like three dollars for it. I ended up selling for like three hundred fifty, and I didn't have any issues with it. Uh, but in this case, I am gonna open these up, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at them. All right, it's looking pretty good. I think they might all be intact. And when I go to list them, you know, I'll just take a picture of the complete box. Uh, I'm still going to list it as new, probably new open box, and just show that, you know, everything's intact here. And I don't think it's really going to affect the value as opposed to just listing them as sealed. You know what I mean? The buyer is probably wondering the same thing. Like, well, if you never opened them, are they broken in there? So I, I don't think I'm really losing any money by doing it this way. Okay, next is from AJ. Um, he says, the video idea would be to create a video going over sports gear. Baseball gloves, bats, tennis rackets. Uh, which brands and models are worth picking up, how to determine what is what. Like a few videos back, you showed us the difference between baseball gloves versus softball gloves, even bolos possibly. Um, so I did make a video about baseball and softball gloves, but I also made one about baseball and softball bats, and I made one about golf clubs. So I'll put a link down in the description of this video if you wanna check those out. It's Tuesday morning, I've got about a dozen eBay orders to ship out. And first is this Medicus driver. 
I just picked this up at a garage sale a couple weekends ago. I paid a dollar for it and it sold for $34.99 plus shipping. I get these long boxes from the post office for free. It's a medium mailing tube, but these are not long enough to fit a driver. They'll fit like a putter or a wedge. These are 36 inches long, but drivers are typically about 45 inches long. So I got this box from my neighbor here. He installs blinds, so he has a lot of long boxes that I get occasionally. And I've gotten boxes before from uh, golf shops. So if you got a golf store around you and you need long boxes, they usually throw them away. Or if you just go in and ask, most of the time they'll just give them to you. Okay, next thing going out is down here in F6. It is more comics. It is a lot of 11, I believe it's 11 comics. Uh, these are the Terrifics. And they sold for $11.99 shipping next is a vcr dvd combo unit this one right here i got this at the same garage show where i got all those comics at and she gave it to me for free uh, everything was just marked free in that whole section so didn't have to pay anything for it but it just sold for 69.99 plus shipping okay next is this tyco typhoon hovercraft um had to sell this thing as is because it doesn't have any kind of battery so wasn't really sure if it worked, but as it was, it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is over here in D2. This is a Logitech Trek Ball Mouse. I got it at a garage sale. Part of a bundle deal, so I've only got a couple dollars into it. It sold for $23.99 free shipping. All right, next we're going to D3. I was walking out of this bin yesterday, and I sold quite a few things out of here. Uh, first is some ink. I think it is this stuff right here. It's 564 XL Black, and then there's uh, cyan and yellow. I've got $2 into all these. They sold for $14.99 free shipping. A med ink is going out to a viewer named Melissa. Melissa, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. And I sold this other pack of ink too, 932XL. Got a dollar into it. It sold for $13.99 free shipping. Okay, I'm also pulling out these Cupcake Diaries books collection, new in the plastic. I paid $3 for these. They sold for $24.99 free shipping. And they're going to go media mail, which will probably cost about $3 or $4. Viewer named Brian bought these. Brian, thank you so much for the business, man. It means a lot. All right, I also sold some Buffy the Vampire Slayer DVDs down here. There's seven seasons of them, and I think that's the complete series. I got these at a garage sale last weekend for a dollar each. And all seven of them sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Okay, next thing is over here in A4. It is an action figure. Iron Man Mark 1. I got this at a garage sale for a couple bucks. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. This is going out to a viewer named Kareen. Kareen, thank you so much for the support. I really hope you like this figure. All right, next we're going to F3. This is a Panasonic uh, cordless phone with a base. This is part of all those phones that I just bought a couple weeks ago that I've made really good money on. And this one sold for $49.99 plus shipping. Before I end this video, I want to do a drawing, postcard drawing, because I haven't done one in a while. I try to do this once a month, and what I do is whoever I pull out gets a free item from my merchandise store. They get to pick whatever they want. Hoodie, t-shirt, hat, sticker, mug, whatever. So let's draw for a winner. All right, I remember these. <laughs> this guy made a custom Cincinnati picker postcards. This is cool. Uh, this is Sean from Michigan. So Sean, you were the winner this month. Shoot me an email. My email's down below in the description. And if you guys want to be entered to win once a month, send me a postcard. My PO box is also down in the description. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.